Good afternoon YouTube, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to show you this door that I just got installed. This is a follow-up video to a actually me cutting this door down, so I'll put a link in the description to that actual build video below. Uh, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring in, I want to show you what, what I had to do to get this door installed. Initially I was going to make a video of this, but it was just going to be way too difficult to do and film and just due to time constraints I didn't. So to save time I'll bring you in, show you what I did to do it. Alright guys, so if you remember in that original video I was actually going to have two doors here, but now it's we're down to one because I made a mistake and destroyed that other one. So what that involved is this seam that you're looking at right here, um, that's the original wall right here, and this is what I had to add to it. So this is all original framing and original materials from here back, and this is new from here forward. And I kind of, just to cover up that seam, I hung an old saw blade there. Now. For the door trim and the door jams, I built all of that just out of some uh, rough cut lumber that I got at Home Depot. It was $4 a piece. I think they were one by eight rough cut, three quarter inch thick, seven and a quarter wide by eight feet long. Then I just stained it a, a, a gray stain. So I built all the trim. Um, this little reveal that you see here is part of that existing beam. Uh, and then the door stops. I made out of that same ripped material and let me take you around to the other side and kind of show you how it all meshed together. So this is where the framing left off, the original framing. It goes all the way down to the floor. This is all new, this area here. And then here's the, here's the door stops, cut in a new latch and cut in, I had to buy the hinges, I cut those in. So now what this does is, this keeps all my tools, um, I need to put some more lighting in here, but um, my intentions are to keep all my tools in here because it keeps it out of the dust from the actual workshop. So I'm sorry guys that I didn't actually film the framing of that uh, as much as I wanted to. I be honest with you, I was just pushed for time. I had a lot of things going on and whenever I make these videos it takes me about twice as long to do the project as it normally would if I wasn't videoing. So for time constraints I just had to get it done but I also wanted to show you guys what the finished product looked because you saw me build the actual door, you saw me make the mistake and I kind of wanted to show you how I ended up recovering from that mistake and what I ended up doing to to kind of make it right so I could still use it and I wanted you guys to be able to see that so and I still have the upcoming video that I want to show you guys it's going to be distressing new wood to look like old and this would have been a perfect example that I could actually implement that on um, but again I was pressed for time I had to get this done I had some other obligations that I had to take care of so that's why I I bought the molding versus actually making it so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is something that you like, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will leave a link at the bottom to the build video for this door of how I actually cut it down to size. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. See ya.